Hi everyone, this is Krishna Vandanapu, a business applications MVP and a Microsoft certified trainer. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will learn how to create a dynamic data component and use the component to render as per the user need without creating multiple components. On the screen, I have created one component, but the same component is behaving differently as per the user functionality. Let us review the functionality of the component before we implement that. In this app, I am maintaining all the manufacturers and their purchase order details. When I click on Samsung, it will list out all the devices related to Samsung as per the database. Now I am selecting some devices randomly. And if I don't want any of this order to be part of my purchase, when I click on that, here it is asking for the user confirmation. When I click on OK, it will delete that entry from my purchase order list. Once user is OK to submit the data to data source, when they click on submit, I am showing the confirmation message with the same component. I am even be able to render my GIF files. And I click on OK. It will take me to the list of orders. Now, user want to add a notification mechanism for various purchase order entries. For this record, user want to add a message notification for their mobile number. When they click on message, I can enter the mobile number. When I click on email, I can provide the email address. But whereas when I click on mail, the same text box will turn out to multi lines of text and I can provide the physical mailing address. Now when I click on message, mobile number I have provided and when I click on OK, it will update the record with that mobile number. So going forward, they can communicate with that. If we look at the back end, there you go. It updated my latest purchase order with the provided mobile number. Now let us go ahead and create this component using component library because Microsoft had recently turned off option to export and import a component from one app to another app. So if you create a component using component library, we can leverage one component across various apps. If you have not yet subscribed, this is the right time to subscribe to get all the latest learnings and notifications. I logged on to Power Apps Maker portal, click on apps. Under apps, you can see component library. As of today, component libraries are preview. But the reason why we need to create from component libraries is I'm creating an app. When you go to components and click on new component, earlier we were able to export the component by clicking on the ellipsis icon. And also we were able to import the components into the app from the other app. But it is no more available, which means that I cannot leverage if I create a component directly at the level of app. So what you have to create a component under component library, which is under this. You can go here and click on new component library. I named it as demo dynamic dialogues. Click on create. The beauty with component library is it look like as an app. You can create as many components as you wish under that app. Once it is done, publish, it will be available for the entire environment users. First thing is when you are creating a component under component library, the app type is not a tablet view. It is a portrait view. Go to settings, display, make it to landscape, say apply, it automatically changes the behavior so that you can test the functionality of the component. I have created a component and named that component as component dynamic dialog and I have added a rectangle. The reason why I have added rectangle is I want to restrict the user not to click on any controls on the screen when this dialog pops up. This will become a mask on the controls which are already there on the screen. Let us go ahead and add all the controls which we want to show as part of the dialog. First thing is I am adding a rectangle. On this rectangle, first thing I want to show is what is my 
dialogue is all about whether it is a success dialogue or asking a confirmation to delete a record to show that i am adding a label remember our component is a dynamic component i don't want any static data here to make a component dynamic how i can do that is with the help of custom properties to the component what are custom properties to component if i want to send a data or receive data back from component we can only perform with the help of custom properties select the component and go to custom properties click on new custom property the first custom property i'm going to create is where component heading this is my input property and the data type of the property is text what are the various other data types i can create many other data types text number boolean date screen many types for now i am defining the data type of this property as text as and when you create a property depends on the data type the value will get assigned if it is a text property the default value will be text if it is a number property the default value will be 100 now i want to say success message as my default value am i hard coding definitely not i'm giving a default value to my variable now that variable value should be associated to my label how i can do that is the name of the component followed by the variable it automatically shows the heading of the component the second thing is i want to create my component interactively with some images or gif to show whether it is a success or a delete confirmation to do that i'm adding an image remember we are creating a dynamic component so i don't want to import any images as part of my image gallery because i want user to specify which image they want to render again a dynamic value which means one more property we need to create for the component the second property is notification image this is also i'm creating as input property and the data type as text create so what would be the value for this is a web url i'm not going to import the image so where does the other way to get image is provide the url of the image from the web now i need to map this variable onto my image select the image under image property say component name dot where notification image the time i say that it automatically gets whatever the image it is pointing on to now let's go ahead and add this component and change the image app level click on custom select the component now if you notice the component got added and all the properties for that component i can change like the way i want now i don't want the trash icon i want the a different icon which is clap this is another gif icon i'm providing and if i want to show or change the message i can change the message by changing the input value for this parameter i said success title now how i can show and hide this component on the screen is with the help of visible property on the component when you go to the property there is a property called visible for the component how i can set this value with the help of context variable i have created two buttons one is to show and the other one is to hide under show what i'm saying is update context where show dialog as true similarly under hide i will say where dialog to false now set this variable to the component variable visible property when you click on show it show the component when you say hide it will disable or hide the component to show it is fine but to hide it is not acceptable right because when user say okay or cancel with that 
button i should hide my component which means i am getting some signal back to screen from the component which is nothing but i am sending something from component to screen one more type of property which is custom property this time i am going to create output custom property because i am sending signal back to my screen i have created a variable as where selected action and this is the output property and the data type is number the reason why i said number is i am going to create two buttons one as okay and the other one is cancel at the time of saying okay i want to say my selected is one when i say cancel i want to send my signal back to screen as zero on select property of the button say set remember in component update context won't work all we could do is we can create only global variable with the help of set i name my variable as where selected option value as one similarly on cancel i said selected option value as zero okay now i need to set this value back to my output variable select that selected option value see since it is integer my default value assigned to this variable as 100 that is going to replace with my variable now go back to the screen and add a label to read the data back to the screen from the component again name of the component dot the output parameter where selected action now you say okay i'm getting one when you click on cancel i'm getting zero which means i'm able to send my selection back to the screen however still my pop-up window is retained on the screen once i say okay it should go off right to handle that we need to use toggle control because toggle has two different properties to that control one is a default property another one is on change property default property is something will decide the stage of my toggle control toggle control by providing a boolean variable to the default property of my toggle that is also going to send from my component create another output property to send true or false to screen to change the default value of the toggle control i created my boolean variable as where perform action because i want to perform an action as and when i set a value to this variable that has to be output save once you click on that it will create one more output property as where perform action the default value for that is true but that has to change as per the user selection so go ahead and add one more variable on ok and cancel as where boolean value and i'm negating the variable and setting that as a value to this variable similarly on cancel also i'm saying same toggle behavior now set this value to my output variable come back to the screen and set that output value as a default value on my toggle control component dot where perform action now if i say okay cancel okay cancel it is changing the value of my toggle control now my next step is to hide my pop-up window go to on change and now whatever the variable i am using to hide my component i can change here which is this go to toggle and just paste that here now see what happens when i provide any input either ok or cancel say ok it went off show cancel it went off this is how i can hide my pop-up with the help of my toggle control in this on change i can also show what is the user selection now if i just say okay 
it show as one because I clicked on OK. Now show, click on cancel, it shows zero, which means under on change of this toggle control only, I can perform what user want to perform. If it is a delete, under on change of this toggle control, I will write the code for delete to handle the delete operation. Next is how I can make the component to behave differently. In this scenario, I am showing success message. On the another screen, I can add the same component and I can turn out the component as a delete confirmation. Now see here, say delete confirmation. All I need to do is I need to change my input value as delete confirmation and provide the GIF whatever the GIF you want to provide. Now what I did is I have added a button, I added a toggle control and assigned my variable to hide the component as part of the visible property. Click on button, it shows up and I click on OK, it hides, it shows whatever the selection it is. Also, I can use my component multiple times, change the values dynamically. This is all to confirm and to delete confirmation. How about multiple buttons and with a text box, which we have seen as part of our demo, which is this how we can implement this kind of a control is go to component on the same component create another property input property but this time i'm going to create input property as table because i want to create multiple buttons that buttons vary as per the user requirement it could be two buttons it could be three buttons so i have to send it as a collection to receive the collection on the component side, we have to have the variable as a table property where button create. Now, if you select button collection, it automatically creates a table. Now, let me iterate the same and show you how it will look like. If I repeat the same record of the table multiple times, this is how it will show up. Now, I can add a gallery a horizontal gallery this time and make the input as this component where boolean collection because that is my input for this gallery go ahead and add button all i did is i have added a button and for the button text is this item dot sample string field and the gallery will come automatically now if it is a multi choice I should not show my success image. So go to the property, visible property of this image. If my gallery don't have any items, that is when I'm showing my success image. If I have value in my gallery, which means that a user is expecting multi-select. To adjust that window, just increase the size. This also you can make it dynamically by making width of the rectangle as gallery dot width. So it automatically stretches to the width of that controls. Under the table, I have added one more column as ID so that I know which button was selected and I can send back to my screen. Now, under this button on select property, we know we have a property called selected operation isn't it now we will set that variable with this id set where selected option value is nothing but this item dot id whichever the item they selected that will come back to the screen if i come back to the screen i can see my component with multiple buttons now go and add a label and say component to dot fair selected action now if i say this i'll get one two three four this is how i can add which action user was selected under that we can add one more text box 
to read the input message and send back to the screen. How I can send back to the screen? One more property, or create one more output property as a text output property that will get my text back to the screen. This is how we can create a dynamic component. All I did in my component is I have added some CSS to make my component colorful. Now that we know how to create a dynamic dialog component, let us add this component into existing app and see how we can change the parameters to render the app as per the need on that app. This is the app I have used to explain how we can implement responsive galleries. Now if I go and try to add the component, I don't see the component here because the component is not a local component. It is a part of component library. How I can add that component is click on insert under insert click on get more components this will show you all the component libraries available at the environment level now i want to include this component as part of this library select that import even after you import into the app you cannot add by clicking on the component option as part of the ribbon you will have to click under library components select that once you select that, it automatically adds onto your screen. If you want to change anything as part of this, here are the properties. I want to change the name of these buttons. So what I have to do is go to collection buttons property in this component and change the values here. The time you do automatically the button labels will change and I'm going to another screen. In this screen also, if I want to add that component to show the submission success, click on insert, click on this component, it adds here. Now I don't want the buttons to show here, right? Select the label, select the property. This time you make this value for this property as table blank. Because once that is blank, that is when I will get my give to show the success message this image i don't want now i can change this image by changing the property of this gif there you go this is how i can add my component into any number of apps what if there is any change at the component level once the component is updated and published by the owner of the component it will show a notification here to refresh the component. If you are interested to refresh, you can refresh. If you are not interested, you can always ignore that. I hope you liked and enjoy watching this video. Here is my contact information. I'm highly available in Twitter and LinkedIn. If you like the video, hit like, add your comments, subscribe to my channel for all future notifications. Have a nice day. Thank you.